Hi, and welcome to another tutorial on how to use Logic for music production. Today I'd like to demonstrate some easy and quick tools to open up in stereo a track that was recorded in mono. So the goal is to bring a guitar that is a mono signal and open it up nicely in stereo in order to create a better mix and to have more space in the middle of the mix for other instruments. Let's first listen to the guitar track without any effects. As you can hear, this is a pretty boring and not very exciting guitar sound. It's all in the center and of course I can pan it left and right, but I cannot open up that guitar into a stereo image. A quick way to do so is to go to the channel strip of the guitar. I copy the guitar part here. And if you see here, I assigned a bus with a send that sends the signal to an aux track on which I inserted a simple delay. I panned the dry guitar a little bit on my left side and I panned the aux track with the delay inserted a little bit on the right side. On the delay I assigned a delay time of around 30 milliseconds. Basically the dry signal is going to be panned to the left and part of the dry signal is going to be sent to the delay which is panned to the right. This will basically have the effect of having the right guitar just delayed by around 30 milliseconds. Let's hear the effect. So as you can hear now, the guitar is nicely opened up in the stereo image and of course I can do a a more drastic effect by increasing the panning. I'm going to increase also the sand a little bit. So that's an easy way to open up a mono signal that was recorded in mono into a more stereo and exciting sound. You can use different delay uh, times here but basically never go above 40 milliseconds. 40 milliseconds is the threshold after which you're going to start hearing the delay track as a separate instrument rather than the same instrument and I can demonstrate that. If I'm going to increase the delay time above 40 milliseconds I sound there are two guitarists rather than one and where the guitar is opened up You can experiment depending on the type of signal, the type of the style that you're working with. But this is a really quick way to open up the guitar. Now let's take another look at how to achieve a similar result. In Logic it's even simpler because I can just insert on my mono signal the spreader plugin. And basically this plugin allows me to spread different frequencies and pan them left and right and down here I can choose the lower frequency from which this effect is going to be applied and the higher frequencies so I can have this effect applied only to the mid range or usually it's a good idea to have it from mid lows to highs and leave the center frequencies not panned so let's hear how this sounds Here's our mono signal. So it's a slightly different effect. It's based on a different approach. 
uh, it's based more on frequency panning rather than delays but it's also a good a good trick that can uh, quickly give you a, a wider stereo image for a sound that maybe was uh, very much in the center so it's, it's a technique that i like and that especially works well on synthesizer or electronic sounds finally you can also take advantage of third-party plugins like ozone imager this is a free plugin that you can download from the ozone website for free and it basically applies a similar system that we saw with the delay option, but it's applied automatically through the plugin. So I'm gonna open it up. And again, this is my mono guitar. And I'm gonna bring in the imager. And I can see here in the scope that the plugin is bypassed I don't have all this spread around my stereo image you can control the width this is mono and I can see right here that all my signal is in the center or I can start spreading it So again, this is a great quick plugin that allows you to really take advantage of the full stereo image for your mixes. If you want to go a step farther, you can use another third party plugins. This is the Waves Brower Motion, which allows you to do all sorts of crazy things when uh, working with panning. And basically you have two different set of um, panning options the one number one and number two panel one and panel two in this case i only have panel one um, active but it allows you to program a certain path in which your track will be panned and the timing of that path can be either synced to bars and beats or it can be free or you can just move it manually so in this case if i press play the pen can be automated and I can move my points in space and I can sync it to whatever bars or beats or change the path. And change the cycling. And this works really well for synth trucks, for example. In fact, let's try it on a synth truck. can create some really interesting effects. So really, really cool type of plugin. So again, we went from something very simple and basically included with Logic to something that is more complex and gives you more options. But all these techniques work and they can be a lot of fun and I really encourage you to experiment in your mixes and using them. Have good mixes.